What is going on everybody? It is Middlebro back with Fangs here, uh, not joined by the Dragos this time because they have, uh, they, they're attending a kid's birthday party, uh, which is no biggie. We can go without them, you'll kinda go like, uh, old hill co-op for, for a few episodes, but we're back here once again, picking up where I left off, uh, like from overnight where, well like, you know, working on you know, just doing more of the steel log spikes and everything like this, uh, I think I have, uh, well, I just ran out of steel, but I have basically everything upgraded over here, like, around me, and, uh, I have just a little bit more to do, but I just need to kind of jump out and get some more steel, and I wanted to say this, uh, regarding console version for 1.0, I was just telling Fangs about this before we started recording, you know, as of today, it's... July 13th of 2024, and, you know, people are kind of throwing a fuss over, because, like, on on Twitter, the, the Fun Pimps announced, like, uh, that 1.0 is under, um, what do you call it? It's, it's under, you know, like, uh, it's past uh, certification with Microsoft on Xbox and everything, and, like, uh, they, it was, like, I don't know exactly when it was, but they were saying it's on, like, you know, they're going, like, uh, how do I say it? They're, you know, like, they only submitted to PlayStation, like, that same day, like, for certifications or anything, and so, you know, people are worrying about, like, if it's gonna be delayed or anything like that, and to be honest with you folks, like, uh, it's like, uh, you know, it is still planned for a, for July 25th to release, like, I'm not saying it is uh, or it isn't but it's but if it does get delayed a little bit i get it you know people are becoming a little restless for for a console to get get released on playstation and everything like that and and xbox i sorry not trying to forget about you xbox folks but to me it's just kind of like if it gets uh, delayed a little bit and i was still on fangs this i'm like i really don't i really don't mind it because it's a because I'm like, I've already been waiting, like, you know, we've already been waiting, like, since, uh, I think 2017, you know, for some sort of update on, on this version, well, well, you know, some sort of info, like, you know, if this was gonna, if we were gonna get seven days to die back, and, and, I'm just kinda like, I've already waited so long, I'm not really even worried about it anymore, it's like, if the PlayStation needs to take a little bit more time to release it, it's like to me, I'm like, it is what it is. Like you, know, I'm not, I'm not mad about it. And some people, and it's not like we can do anything about it either way. Yeah, it's not like we are Sony or Microsoft. It'd be news to me if it, if we were. <laughs> but it's just one of those. It's like in you know, like. I'm really patient about it, and like, uh, Drago on my previous stream yesterday, like, uh, saying, like, because, like, I was doing water physics with my canal build, like, if you, which, if you watch that video, it's like, uh, like, I did all the water for it. I had to fig figure out all the, um, the, you know, all the water, how to get that, get that figured out for, um, what do you, how do you say it, like, like, had to figure it out, uh, he's like, it seems like a pain, and, and he's like, you are so patient with it, it's like, to be honest, it's like, it comes from my retail experience, it's like, um, I was telling him, and it's like, he was, I'm like, it's because I used to greet, and like, uh, used, because I'm, I'm a nighttime person usually, like, uh, I like, you know, working in the evening more than the day, it's like, especially in summer, because it gets, it typically gets cooler, but, um, what am I saying here? Basically, like, it would be, like, dead slow nights, and it's just kind of like, you had to... <laughs> I will say this, if you want to learn patience for something, like, you kind of really learn patience for something, and kind of, you know, not get frustrated, it's like, uh, go do greeting, and on slow nights, it will... It's a test. But, it's like, I'm just kind of like, at this point, I really don't care if, uh... You know, I'm like, I'm excited as much as to, to, to a lot of people, but I'm just kind of like, it, it be what it be. There we go. 
So thanks, good news. The uh, the spike the spike pit has been laid down in the garage area. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, I just realized. Uh, Vangs, you might not want to pay too much attention to the spike pit on the uh, on the west side, because I realized like there's like a I just realized looking at it like uh, there's a uh, one side of the one side of it like uh, on either side you're of you're making it worse. I wasn't going to look, but now you're gonna <laughs> make me curious, man. Now the grates are like the grates are one way like towards the end side, and then. And then now, like, uh, I'm looking at it, and no, it's like, like on the very far side to the wall, it actually is like one side. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore that. Uh, yo, know, I do have a little bit of landscaping to do over here, you know, patch this up, folks, but, um, I figured just figure, finish out that spike pit area and, and, you know, just, and take a little bit of a road trip down to the southern town where Fangs went to go get sand. I think it was last episode we did. So I'm going to get prepared and I'm going to go meet you down there. Well, folks, uh, coming up on the southern town here, uh, if I'm really unfortunate, I might run into uh, Fangs' uh, sand pit wherever you dug that down here. Middle of town. As long as you didn't wind up digging out the road. I think I dug out under some of it, but that's about it. I figured, guys, you know, the past few episodes have been building and everything. I figured we could come down and raid this town at least. I think it should be looted, if I'm not mistaken. Well, should be respawned. It would really suck if it was already looted, but... You know, just kind of figured it would be a good little excursion, like, uh, get you away from the building stuff and yeah it's like uh um you know we got the bank and shotgun aside and everything like that i just it's just what it is it's like i mean i'm good with my ak and my smg but uh it's a it's just kind of one of those figure uh, it's like i at least give, give you something like i have gotta get something to the viewers yes 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 ah Come up on Shotgun Messiah, we already got, well, got a, got the uh, magical uh, zombie spawning in, uh, in front of my eyes. Fun. <sighs> I just love it when I see that happening, and zombies just start spawning in, uh, in front of my eyes. It's like they just get up and it's like, you know, like out of thin air. I'm like, like, excuse me, like, what? <laughs> Can you explain to me this magic? And again, they're zombies. They don't speak English. So it'd probably be a little difficult for them. Um, ah, yes. Gun stores respawned. Um, I'll just save some of the schematics for, uh, you know, Mrs. Drago if they join again before we end, end off this series, so. A lot of this is just gonna be junk, guys. Like, well, not junk per se, but, you know, like, to me, at least, it's not going to be that great. SMG stock. I mean, I could use that to improve my SMG somewhat. Sniper rifle receiver. Yeah, you know, I can use some of this to improve. You do slight improvements. Everything like that. And you got shotgun long barrel and sniper. Well, not sniper rifle. Grip. I'm like, I almost thought that was just the pistol grip was a sniper rifle grip. Oh well. Um, trying to remember where, like, what's uh, in this town, folks. So, uh, I, I know there's a cop shop around here. And, hmm. There's also the passing gas around here. Um, which I know that does not have a workbench in it, and I think they didn't turn. Thankfully, didn't get set on fire. Uh, get some gasoline out of these really quick. You can never, can never be too, 
care who can never have too much gasoline. Uh, Mikey. Maybe sometime I'll go down and take a look at this road that's going southeast, uh, no, southwest of town. Like, uh, I already know the southeast road. That's hub. We don't need to, we don't need to go back there. Not for a bit. Yeah, not for a bit. Um, we got the shanty town, which I'll, we'll stop and raid here. Hello. I'll just beat through this tour, folks. It's not, it's not that hard to beat through with a level 600 pickaxe. But like, we're already, huh, I'm already almost through this uh, layer of iron. Oh wait, I forgot, it's, it's three layers, like... Okay, so it's a 4,000, then two 1,200s. Not that bad. Uh, nope. Come here, come here, Bob. Bye, Bob. Uh, oh, and his twin brother's in the, in the little, little food store. Come here. <laughs> Marla, come on over. All right. I did bring some food with me, like out of the, out of the, uh, my local uh, vending machines, you know, just just for flavor, you know, like, well, just make sure I don't starve to death and have the, have the local population. Not what gonna the? worry about. It. How what? did you get down here? A screamer got into my base with the drawbridge up. Alrighty then. Paranormal. <laughs> I was gonna say, the, zomb the zombies are now resorting to paranormal methods. Yep, apparently. Who, who, gave, uh, the, who, who gave the zombies paranormal uh, powers? No, it's who gave them wall hacks. <laughs> wall hacks, there you go. Ow, I got hit by the landmines in the shanty town. There's landmines? Yeah, they're in the in the area with the gun safe. Well, I guess I'm just lucky. I never run into landmines. Yeah, there's there's landmines on um like in the little safe room like with that little uh you know like the little kind of like uh barricaded up like, place like with this Small little supermarket. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's 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 landmines in the in the uh, behind the vault door with the gun safe. Oh no, the drawbridge was down because you left it down. I was gonna say I don't remember if I left it down or not. Uh, what piece of the iron armor did you need for schematic? Chest. Oh, I have the leg the leg schematic for you. <laughs> Yeah, that'll increase, increase my level in it, so... Although, don't really need to increase my level. Yeah, I guess we do get armor in the last episode, or, like, a couple episodes ago at this point. That's, but that's your, that's basically your red herring for, for schematic. Basically. Do, do, do. Just gonna condense these gun parts down here, folks, so... Pistol parts. Um, uh, this is one thing I always recommend doing. You guys, like, you know, get your, like, on this version at least, you know, go and grab your, and grab your gun parts and just, as long as you have the schematic and just start slapping your, you know, slapping your gun parts together, like, uh, cause it, it does uh, wind up saving you a few inventory spots in a safe area. One that, on a long loading trip. Oh, I see your sand pit. I just look, I like, I come out of the crafting menu, like, uh, assembling weapons, and it's like, I see your sand pit over by the water tower. Mm hmm. That is a big pit. I got a few stacks. A few stacks. <laughs> not a money. 6,000. I was gonna say, not, not money, though. There's Brother Theater. Yeah, been a bit a little bit since I've been in this town here, but next stop is the the cap shop, as I call it. Ah, there it is, popping into existence. And 
looks like there there's a zombie body there's some zombie bodies that I that I shot like weeks ago still here. Like and I'm talking like the zombie bodies that haven't even decomposed yet into the core blocks. Hmm. I think it has something to do with like how the like if you're if you're away from from a chunk for a, for a long time, like uh, it keeps stuff like uh, like when you come back to it, it's still loaded and like as it has decomposed. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like I've come back to spaces where there's uh, like after weeks where there's still a dog body hiding. And it's mm. like I'm like what I'm like I don't remember being here uh, like recently. And it's like oh probably from the last time I was here. Uh, Definitely not going to have my final part my the next layer of my base be a, a uh, literal vault with how many doors there are going to be to get into it. It's just gonna, it, it's just gonna be like, if so, if so if the zombies somehow manage to break in, they'll be like, oh yeah, there's, there's a, there's a nerve vault door, break that down, there's a nerve vault door, and so on and so forth. Basically. Be like the, be like the Mortoishka dolls, uh, as a, it's called, uh, the Russian dolls that you opened up and yeah, it's like. Yeah, I know. That's, has like seven or eight of them inside. Yeah, you're just wondering, like, how many are there <laughs> in this little thing? Mm hmm. Great, now I'm thinking of the Mortoiska dolls from Call of Duty Zombies. Huh. They, uh, they were on Ascension and Call of the Dead. Basically, like, you would get them out of the mystery box and you would. And basically, like you, they would be a tactical grenade, and uh, but you would literally, like, your character would just, uh, would literally just twist them open and just pop them out, and then like, uh, like, uh, it would uh, go from one to like two or three, and after the first explosion, and then um, it would just keep, it would just keep exploding into more, more dolls, blowing up zombies. Mm. And they were absurdly powerful. Mm. And it's kind of was you had to make sure you had to have a PhD flopper, which prevents your explosion damage. Like uh, on, because if you're not careful, you would have uh, like they, those things could easily take you out if you got caught up in the explosions. I think it was like. Um, if I remember correctly, if you if you if you do it right, you could literally take out a take out an entire horde of zombies for, with one with one of those things. Because mm. of like just all the explosions. Right in the prison now. You're not gonna go breaking through everything and you know searching for whatever is around. Don't need that paper and everything like that, but. Yeah, we'll go check the corpses, folks. We'll um, don't don't mind all the yapping, but um, breaking through here. I don't remember if this has any corpses up top. Uh, oh yes, there is. I'll just kind of scrap some of these gun parts down, though, like just to kind of preserve a bit of space, so. I don't think the corpse had anything. Ah, uh, yes, I'm swinging on an unlocked door. Um... While I'm here, I'll just, I'll just yoink the, uh, yoink the spotlights. They're free, basically. Mm. I'm sure, I'm sure I can find a use for them. Mm -hmm. Uh... All right, now it's starting to do a mission of just, I'm just pop them into, pop them into, um, you know, just rescue all the spotlights out of the prison, folks. Hello, spotlights, where are you at? I know where they have hooks, but 
Mr. Corpse, do you have anything? Did you say your mag your magnum grip was basically maxed out? Oh uh, yeah. I thought I'd ask. Found another one. Well, I got like a couple um, grips you might want. Hmm. You know, so I'm almost tempted to go into uh, flaming flaming arrows. Hmm. It really light the zombies' world up. <laughs> Both figuratively, figuratively and literally. Um, did One I, way put it. Did I forget the spotlights on this? Well, I must have gotten the spotlights out of most of the spotlights as uh, prison already. Let me go check this other one. Because I I checked two more towers and I'm like, and I haven't found and. They're missing. I probably grabbed them. You might have already grabbed them. Except for like one random spotlight. Well, if uh, you didn't grab them, I might have. I don't know. Okay, so I. Th Apparently, one of us grabbed uh, grabbed half the spotlights out of the prison, like the back on the back side of the prison, but uh, but not the front half. Hmm. But if we if we were to grab him, I would have thought we you know, we would have had you know like we would have you know at least grabbed all of them. But eh, oh well. Bonus yeah. spotlights. I think real quick, folks. Um, I'll go check one of the. There's a, there's a bunker local like I know it's getting close to nighttime, which uh, I do want to get back to town, help things with uh, duplication and. And I, uh, speaking of duplica the duplication thing, it's like, uh, one of you has asked me, like, you know, like, asked me on a video, like, a while ago now, uh, you know, like, how do we do the, how do you do the duplication glitch? And it's like, um, I'm not exactly aware of the details on it, but, uh, I know it's like a timing thing with fangs, and I can't, I can't do the, du like, I can't actually duplicate it myself. Like, uh, oh no, it, I can give a easier er, description. Go ahead. So basically you need two people. Yeah. One of them ha has to be the host, or technically no one has to be the host, but as long as one of them isn't the host, that person puts, or anyone puts them in, in, the, puts them in the chest, exits the chest so it saves it to the, so the host game saves it, and then you take the items out of the chest without exiting or hitting L3 or whatever button is to take all. And then once everything's emptied out in your inventory, that's saved into your thing but not into the host. And then someone breaks the chest and all the items that are previously in there, they didn't get uh, saved that to them being in your inventory. So it creates a bag that's down the floor that you can grab from. So basically, just uh, like someone puts items in the chest and uh, and then exits out, and then you and then uh, someone that's not host grabs all the items uh, and stay, but stays in the chest and and um, um, and then like someone axes the chest and and it duplicates. Is that right? Basically. All right. So yeah, I just kind of raid the. The well bunker here, you know, really quick while Fangs was uh, explaining that, you know. But uh, it's about to be nighttime over here. I just gotta find my mini bike and go back to town. Uh, go back to home, which I will do that. But I hope you, if you made this far, you enjoyed the episode. And leave a like, comment, and subscribe down below. Uh, helps the channel so much. Uh, so have a great day and take care.